G'day everyone. In this quick video, we're going to have a look at a new feature coming to VS Code, and that's custom chat modes. So custom chat modes let you inject a bit of personality into your GitHub Copilot AI assistant. So at the moment in VS Code, you've got your, your different modes. You've got ask agent and edit, and these all use the same kind of system prompts, the same grounding um when you chat to it and they give very kind of sometimes clinical maybe dry very accurate very precise answers um very general purpose so the idea behind um, different custom chat modes is to create chatbots that you can talk to uh, within copilot that you might use for different scenarios so at the moment, as far as I could see, this hasn't quite made it into the main VS Code build, um, but it is in the, the nightly build, the insiders build, which uh, anyone can download. You can just go to download VS Code and you can uh, go to the yeah, insiders build and download and install that. Uh, you can tell the difference. Insiders build has the, the green icon. So what you can do, I'm just playing around with a um a public microsoft repo that i've i've cloned here for the pubsec info assistant which is a, an ai chatbot accelerator project from microsoft and i've opened up copilot and added a few of these custom chat po chat modes in here um, so i've got my grumpy senior developer um, to go through and analyze my code and give me maybe a bit of harsh real feedback um, I've got my creative director to review my UI screens, give me some creative feedback on improving my, my UX. Um, I've got my retired COBOL engineer, who's a bit old school and can give me some good old fashioned advice. And then I've got my paranoid security auditor um, who will go through and be quite pessimistic about my security posture and try and pick holes uh, in my security. <laughs> Uh, in the code and the security of my code. So um, I'll just quickly show you uh, my grumpy senior dev. Um, so each of these chat modes, uh, they're just saved in a little markdown file inside the GitHub folder in there. So you've got chat modes and then there's my grumpy senior dev. And this just gives your persona um, some instructions, kind of think of it as a a system prompt for this particular persona. So now if I select my grumpy senior dev, uh, I go to this Azure function that I've got here. And I'm gonna ask my grumpy senior dev to please review this code. And you're probably familiar with the kinds of feedback that Copilot will, will usually give you. Um, but this is really nice because it lets you add a bit of personality to the feedback that you get and get different types of feedback for, uh, for different situations. So yeah, you can see like going through, it's, it's kind of harsh, kind of direct, but also quite useful and, and actionable feedback that I'm getting from my, my grumpy old senior dev there. Um, also a nice new feature I noticed in the insiders build uh, up here, you can maximize the secondary bar, which is good. Give a bit more screen real estate to Copilot. I think you, you could do that previously, but it was a little bit more hidden away. So that's a nice little update there. Um, so as well as my grumpy senior dev, I've also got my retired COBOL engineer. So this is my grounding in here. Bit of old school programming wisdom. Doesn't like abstractions. Not impressed by microservices. So it will give me a different perspective on my code. So let's try, let's try that. Let's try my retired engineer personality. So I'll start a new chat. I'll just say, review my code, same piece of code. And we'll get a different perspective. And it might be worth experimenting with a few different personas and yeah pick the kind of feedback that you like and and tailor it whatever's the most useful for whatever you're working on and then i've also got my paranoid security advisor so this is my system prompt here 
Um, really pessimistic, worst case scenario, suspicious of everything, highly skeptical, security obsessed. So let's just ask my security expert to review that same function. And I don't need to say, I can just use a one line prompt here. I don't need to say, review this code, please focus on security um, recommendations, potential security vulnerabilities. I can just say, review this code and it will assume the persona of my security auditor. Um, so it makes prompting a bit more efficient. So let's give that a go. Here we go, dissecting it with a zero trust mindset. And there you go, it's picked a few holes in there and now I could go through, decide which ones of these are relevant, anything that I wanna patch up or change, or if it's uh, a, bit too, a bit too harsh or a bit too unlikely, then I might, I might decide that uh, it's not worth the attention. But uh, yeah, that's my security auditor. So some good advice in there. And the last persona I've got is slightly different. This is my creative director. So this is my UI work. Um, now this project here is extremely well documented and it even has some PNGs of the interface in there, which is very handy. So I can select my creative director persona and then I can just drag this UI image into there. And I'll just say, review my UI. And away it goes. Here we go. And the clever thing is it can interpret this image um, using GPC 4.1 multimodal model. Uh, so yeah, it knows what's happening in this image and then can review it for, for good UI. So. Yeah, it's saying the headline is clear and direct. Have a conversation with your private data. Is about as subtle as a sledgehammer, but hey, at least I know what I'm here for. And then it goes down, breaks things up, gives suggestions. It's a bit snarky. If you don't like that, you can always change your prompt. So this is the, the prompt I've got in here for my creative director. All right, so how do you add these? So it's pretty easy. So I'll just go through the process of adding a new chat mode. So um, you've probably heard of rubber ducking. So that's a, a little process developers use to kind of talk through a coding problem, um, sometimes to a rubber duck or some inanimate object. Um, and it helps sometimes with solving problems, debugging, um, just to talk through a problem to an object and in the process of talking, sometimes you, you solve that problem in your own mind. So in this case, we're going to create a VS code chat mode for a rubber duck. So we can do some rubber duck debugging. So let's go into here, configure modes. So I'm going to create a new custom chat file. Uh, now you can either have chat modes attached to your user, or you can have them inside the project. Uh, these ones I'm putting inside the project so I can share them with other people working on this project and they'll get checked into Git. I'm going to call it a doc. And there you go. So you get a little um, markdown file here with a markdown header. So I'll call it a duck. There's Copilot suggestions there, which is suggesting a prompt for me, which is nice. I've already got one that I prepared earlier. So that's my, my rubber duck system prompt, my chat mode. Um, now, currently to, to activate it, it doesn't appear straight away. So I've noticed you do need to reload VS Code to get that to show up. So now I've got my rubber duck, new chat. And I'll just say, review this code. And there you go. And now it's coming back with, yeah, another load of good feedback, kind of asking me to question my assumptions, which is, yeah, quite a nice way, to, again, to do a code review. 
Uh, so there you go, that's custom chat modes. Um, this was something you could do before in, in VS Code um, just by setting kind of custom code generation instructions, but this is really nice kind of bringing this feature right into the UI and yeah, it'll let you add those different personas. So hope you found that useful and catch you later.